What's up everybody, Viper here, and today I'm going to play uh, Artificial Extinction. It's another EA game that just came out, I think, yesterday. I did pay $19.99 for this game. It wasn't a free key or nothing. And I went ahead and played through all the missions so I can see if I was even going to bother to make a video on this. Uh, it's kind of kind of a hard sell for me at $19.99. It's only got really about a few hours of playability and then you're going to have to go back through and replay missions over and over. And looking from uh, the Steam news on the game, there's I didn't really see any roadmap or anything you know definitive that I could find easily. So I don't know what the what the devs are planning on doing with this game and or if this is all we get or or what but it's kind of fun for a few hours but after that you're kind of be, going to be playing the same thing over and over and over again until either you add more stuff or do something with this game so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start on day one and I'll probably will make a, a nine day series on this a nine video series just on the nine days and we'll see how it goes all right we're gonna go ahead and start on day one I'm gonna go ahead and skip the intro and all that uh, I'm sure there's probably a video on it somewhere you have three different difficulties I'm just gonna put it on normal I played it all completely on normal I will probably have to bump it up too hard eventually and I'm gonna skip all that all right, it basically dumps you off into a uh, a landing zone, and then it's gonna. This robot talks a lot, and I had to turn him off, so you're not hearing him right now. But he talks. He's like that friend that just will not shut up. So I got to go to this little. Uh, uh, the hell is it? Nuclear symbol or whatever it is. And I'm gonna build a miner on, and this will give me my fuel. And in the bottom right, we got energy, metal, and fuel. When the fuel reaches 100%, we can leave this planet. So now it's showing me uh, a metal deposit. And then I'm going to put another miner here. You can hit E and you can move these miners up and down or off it. And then I'm going to build a energy miner, a miner on the energy field. The metal is what gives you the resources so you can build turrets and stuff like that. And the energy is what you need to power your turrets. So the more turrets you have, the more of these uh, miners you need on the energy platform. And the metal platforms, you, or the metal miners, you can only have five of them. So I'm going to bring you back once I get five miners. It's going to be a, bit, a little bit of time before I can make all of them. All right, I've got the five miners built, and I found on normal should be probably the same on easy as well. But you have enough time to build five miners before anything really goes on, and I like to get those first. That way, it increases my metal production. And you have your your weapon, which is like a long range sniper rifle, and you got a range, and you have a range uh, like you two, four, six, eight hundred meters. So you got to kind of use the cursors because the, the rounds do drop. So you'll have to uh, aim over the target, depending on how far away, like uh, this is 200 meters away, 275, so I'll aim about there and I should hit somewhere around here. And then uh, you got your R for reload. And then if you hit the L button, which is kind of weird, I'll have to actually go through and set that up, but default is L it'll change into a rapid fire and then you have your ammo in your bottom left and if you run out you just go to C and hit ammo and it'll replace your ammo now you got two for me to you have these claymores and you can place them in different places uh, this day one map they're gonna come mostly from the north uh, down in this way But they're also gonna eventually come over here. So I'm just gonna go and place these claymores over here Because I know that's where they're gonna come 
So that's why I don't really know how long it's going to be playability for this game, because it's the same thing over and over. I mean, even if you're changing the difficulty level, you're, I don't know if they're going to change where they're coming from, or if it's all going to be set. Later on in this mission, they're going to come from over on that side over there. So now I got to make some uh, sniper turrets so I can uh, start this mission, because I guess it's pretty much set. So I'm going to place a couple here. The little dude will give you a brief little overview of what this is. You can upgrade these turrets, like for the same button you uh, use to build. Build them, if you go close to it and it turns blue, you can upgrade them twice. Or you can hit the E button and actually pick them up and move them around. And that'll increase their firing speed and uh, their magazine capacity. So I'm just going to put a couple over... Oops, not a miner. Cycle. And just upgrade these. I think it's five turrets will actually kick off the first part. Might be more than that. Let's try to build a couple more. Oh, I need to build another engine miner. All right, now it kicked off. Now you're going to hear a bunch of talking with the... The robot, if I didn't turn it off, and it'll tell you a little bit about it. All right, so we're going to start seeing tanks soon. Oh, where are they? Uh, there's one right over there on the other side of that hill. And then when he gets in range, my sniper turrets are going to start shooting him. There's another one up there. So we've got two right now. And I can actually start shooting this guy if I want to. Well, too low. But it'll take quite a few hits to actually kill this dude. Alright, finally my, my turrets are starting to open up. And it exploded. All that stuff he drops, you can actually go out there and actually pick it up for metal. But I don't even bother going that far out just because it just takes a long time to walk way over there. So I'd rather just leave it alone. Oh, I gotta build another energy miner. And that should be plenty of sniper turrets, but I'll probably end up building a whole bunch more. Just because I won't have anything to use them for. I'm going to put a sentry turret facing this way. And then... Probably one up here facing this way. Alright, so now I got some uh, air drones. 
Now your little buddy is telling you all kinds of stuff, but I just I can't I can't listen to him and talk to everybody at the same time. So I just he's got to go. So I got to wait for a little while for uh, my AI little robot to give me some uh, some anti-aircraft turrets. So you're just kind of sitting around waiting for a second. All right, finally I can build some AA turrets. And you can do the same thing with these, upgrade them twice. It'll give you some air-to-air -air rockets on them. And I'm just going to build a couple of these around. I oh, need more energy. I think it does kind of look cool when you get a bunch of turrets going off all at once. And this first mission is rather easy, but once you actually get going off the, uh, later on it gets, uh, it gets quite hectic. I need to tell my uh, drone to start repairing stuff. In the bottom you see sniper sentry, anti-air sentry, gun sentries, and MLRS. And then those little blocks sometimes will turn yellow or red if they're getting damaged too much. Alright, so now we got this dude coming behind us, but I put those claymores. So that was him just blowing up right there. I can pick up some of the stuff to get some more metal. And I might as well order some more claymores. Each one of these claymores are 20 metal or 10 metal. So let's uh, put a few more, more down. Alright, so that side's taken care of. It also made a uh, new gun sentry. So the gun sentry's got a shorter range to it, but it fires a whole lot faster. Let's just pull this one back a little bit. My sniper turrets looks like they're doing a good job. I'll probably need to make a couple more AA turrets, maybe. And then pretty soon I'm gonna need to go defend this little area over here. I do like the little flak, little bursts of it when it goes out a certain distance, it explodes. Let's build a couple more AAs.
Right, I'm gonna put a couple more, a couple of these machine gun turrets up over here. Oh damn it! I need energy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, I can build my MLRS right now. The MLRS is a uh, multiple launch rocket system. And it will kill quite a few enemies all at once. So you put it down. And you go into the build or upgrade, whatever you want to call it. And you hit activate and then it'll just start shooting. in pretty much all directions. If there's a whole bunch of enemies, the MRS, MRS is good for uh, clearing a bunch of them out. And there's only a certain number of rounds that it holds, so I kind of like to deactivate it until I really need it again. And then when I start to get overwhelmed, I'll activate it and then turn it off when I don't need it. And eventually it'll let me open up a... Uh, airstrike which will completely decimate the enemies let's put a gun sentry up here My claymores are still working back there. No, nope, go ahead and turn this back on. Oops. It does look pretty cool when you're actually fighting a whole bunch of enemies at once. Oh, now I can activate the airstrike. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Don't really need it, but might as well just so I can see what it, show you what it is. And then now my, uh, my ship will eventually come down and just start unloading on everything. I can turn this off. So if there's anything left, my ship should come straight through here and just start going ham on stuff. And then that one's dead. Make short work of them, and if there is a whole bunch of enemies out there, it's it's good to save that for when those oh shit moments, you know, when you're about to die or something. You can't get enough damage where you actually die, so you do want to be careful, but overall it's a pretty simple game, especially on normal. Alright, so I got 89% fuel, or 90% fuel. Once that's done, it'll drop this little red container, and I gotta pick that up and take it to my ship. And then once I do that, all of these little turrets are gonna self-destruct. And then I'll that'll finish the mission. Get away. And my ship is still doing its job. I think he's probably about done. 
Now I'm going to start getting some up on my left side over here. But between this sniper turret that's over here and these guys over there, they should take them out pretty quick. Eventually you'll get like a rocket launcher and you'll be able to hack the the different uh, walking robots that come in towards you to confuse them and there's just various things you'll be able to do later on in the game. But the enemies do get a lot harder the farther you progress. Now my machine guns are opening up. Or they were. Well, when my ship just comes in on its own, it's time for me to go ahead and get out of here because it's coming in to pick me up. So we're at 97% fuel done. Century type, what are you telling me to do? Alright, 98%. I'm just waiting for this thing to poop out a little red ball or canister, what are you gonna call it? Now, some of the missions on normal, I've been close to almost dying. By the time when I go to pick this thing up. And then it makes you walk really slow. And that's when you kind of really notice the uh, your hand and arm and the dude's finger kind of going through the trigger. It's like they'd wasted hardly any time on uh, their character model. But some of the rest of the stuff's not so bad. I mean, it's EA game, but I don't know if it's worth 20 bucks. And that was day one. So this is artificial extinction. Get it if you really want it, but this is pretty much what you got. But I will do the a video on each one of the days but I'll probably try to keep them kind of short but thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all later